All right, guys. So we got a little bit of problem. All right, we got we have a we have a, a pretty damn serious issue right now. As you can see, you will be looking at this the bracket right now, wondering what the hell is going on. I thought GSP and John Jones already fought. I thought we were already in the semifinals. Um, yeah, yeah, but apparently the game did not save the match between GSP. And John Jones, and so as I return to try to continue the Ultimate Fighter tournament, it's asking me uh, to do the fight between G GSP and John Jones again. So um, I'm thinking what I'm going to have to do for this one, just so that uh, just so that it's 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 reasonable. Oh my God, man! But like. Like I'm, I'm thinking of just playing GSP versus John Jones and trying to beat John Jones with GSP because in the fight, in the in the actual fight, uh, GSP, well, John, well, not John Jones defeated GSP. He, uh, he defeated GSP by submission in round number three. So I'm thinking of using John Jones, fighting George St. Pierre, and trying to beat him sometime round number three. Or I'm also thinking of just redoing it again and, and seeing what happens. I don't know. I don't know what the best option is. I don't know what the right option is. But I was, I'm very surprised the game did not save it, man. Like, it, it's such a bummer, bro. Because, like, if I run the simulation again and GSP somehow defeats John Jones and now goes on to fight Habib, you know, of course that is, you know, that, that wouldn't be right because that's not what we had initially. So, oh my gosh, man. It's been such a rough, rough couple of days that I, I just I put this I put this on the back burner, had other things, you know, that I'm dealing with. I don't know what to do. I just I really don't know what to do. I'm thinking the right thing to do is to use John Jones and uh just fight GSP again. I think that is the right thing to do. And that is what I'm gonna do. Try to make sure that, that John Jones Wins the fight, defeats GSP, and uh, goes on to fight Habib. I think that is the right thing to do. Um, John did not take a lot of damage from George, so that's that's good. Um, man. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And, uh, you know, if you guys disagree in the comment section below, then... You know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, but uh, I don't. I don't think we have a better option right now. I really don't think we have a better option. I think this is the this is the best option. So I'm gonna go ahead and use John just to make sure that John moves on because he already won this fight, and it's not gonna be fair to make John Jones fight this fight again. So we're gonna use John, make sure he defeats GSP, and then John Jones moves on to fight Habib. So here we go. I think perhaps to make it fair, maybe let GSP do some damage to John. Um, but yeah, I guess show the AI how to use John. Nice. I was trying to sit back down. I did not expect GSP was going to make this too easy for me. this sucks too because like I didn't even get to use my character you know and here I am playing for John it's like
Yeah, but hey, GSP's AI, he's doing he's doing a pretty good job right now. I tell you guys that. He's doing a good job, but he's gonna gas out. Nice, okay. I think this is normal, because this happened in the fight as well. GSP was taking down John Jones a few times, so this is completely normal. There's nothing abnormal about this. from GSP. There you go. Look at look at my John though. Look at look at the stamina difference here. Shoots again. Nice. Woo! Okay. That was very good movement from George. I mean, look at the... The movement I'm seeing from jo from George right now, bro. Oh my God, this is this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. To be honest with you guys, like it's not. Oh, okay, okay, George. Nice, very good takedown defense. That man is not fucking around right now. That was supposed to be a lot faster than it was. I'm going to tell you guys right now. Can he survive 10 seconds? Can he survive 10 seconds? No, he can't. We got him. Yeah. I had to. I had to get him with the same sub, man. Had to do it. Now, of course, George, um, John Jones did it in, in, in round number three. And it's possible he took a bit more damage. But um, if John comes in with the stamina exactly where where I had it right now I think that would I think that would make more sense so sorry about that guys you know really sorry about that I really wanted the AI to play the whole thing but just to be fair to John Jones I had to do it I couldn't risk running it again and GSP getting a win it's just it wouldn't be it wouldn't be right it wouldn't be right because he didn't beat John just the game didn't save it for some reason which I guess now I know so um I, I guess I really can't take breaks from this series i'm gonna finish this episode and i guess i'm gonna have to record the next episode right away and the next one as well because uh if i try to back off if i try to save it is a possibility that it's not gonna save and we can't have this keep happening so ea man like yeah i gotta yeah yeah i gotta fix this bro you gotta fix this you can't let shit like this happen man you know this should not be happening like if i if i save a bracket the bracket should be saved you know what I mean? I don't want to come back and the bracket is not saved. That's not right. Um, so as you can see, Habib is fighting John Jones. And Aljamain Sterling is fighting Yiri Prohashka. So we're gonna actually start this exactly where we should have started it, which is 
Aljamain Sterling versus Yuri Prohashka. So we're going to figure out who's going to be in the finals between Aljo and Yuri. And we're going to figure out who will be in the finals between Habib and John Jones. And then um, next episode is going to be the finals fight. Hope you guys are uh, excited about that. Let's get it. Time to run it. Aljo versus Yuri Prohashka. Man, I'm going to be very, very surprised if Aljo finds a way to defeat uh, Yuri. I'm going to tell you guys right now, man, that this is a bantamweight going up against a light heavyweight. It should not be possible. Like, it should not be a thing. Aljo should not have a chance in this fight. He is completely outmatched in size, power, size, like everything, man. But look at look at this. What the fuck? Dude, Aljo it is 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 there a glitch for Aljamain Sterling right now? Like genuine question. Well, then again, he barely took any damage in the fight that he had with me. So he's coming into this fight beast mode. I mean, look at this. He almost went for a submission again against Yuri Prohashka. Damn, to start things off with a spin to the head and sit him down? You gotta be kidding me. This dude, Al Jermaine, is no joke right now, bro. He might win this whole thing, boys. There's a takedown, and he gets it. Wow. Freaking hell. Major, major wow. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Nah, I think he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Oh my god. What is this? Like, like a Peruvian necktie? I think that's what this is. But he'll be fine. He'll escape. I wonder where this escapes into. If I had to guess, I'm thinking side control. Yeah. Oh, north-south. Okay. Dude, Aljo is completely out grappling all of these guys. Like, damn, man, they can't hang. No one can hang with this guy on the ground. That's crazy. This is this is the last thing I expected, bro. I'm gonna tell you guys. Last thing I expected was for Aljamain Sterling to get this far. Like, are we gonna see Aljo versus Habib in the final, or Aljo versus John Jones? I don't know. But as you can see. Giri Prohashka is gassing out. And he is getting attacked. Oh my god! Aljo is literally. Oh my lord! Aljo is the GOAT. He takes him down again? No. Okay. Oh my god. Now his leg is rocked. That leg is done. That leg is donezo. I just, I, I don't know. I think maybe it's just because everyone's coming in and fighting Aljo while he's fresh. I think the best thing that's happened to Aljo so far is the fact that he's come, he's been coming into these fights way, way, way more fresh than his opponents. He hasn't been rocked too much. He hasn't been hit too much. He's been able to get these guys out of there. And that's a huge, huge plus. I think maybe next time I'm not going to do, maybe next time I'm not going to continue damage. <laughs> You know, I think I think that might be a that might be better. But I just I wanted it to be like more of a legit tournament style, because like in an actual tournament style, like, you know, you don't really have too much time to rest. Like even if you had a day, you know, even if you had a day and you and you and you had a fight the next day, you're still going to be feeling the effects of the fight you had yesterday. You know, like it takes a while to recover from a fight. You'll still be tired. Oh my God. The same shot over. And he did it. He did it. Aljamain Sterling did it. Wow. 
Wow. That is crazy. Wow. He did it. And he barely took damage, guys. That is the big, big, big plus. He is fighting. And, you know, that's a huge thing with tournaments as well, bro. It's like your ability to be efficient, your ability to pace yourself, your ability to... The faster you can get your fights done, of course, the easier the next fights are going to be because you didn't expend too much energy, you didn't take too much damage. The way Aljo has fought this tournament has been fantastic, bro. It's been fucking fantastic. And now, John Jones and Habib get to run. I mean, look at this. Aljamain Sterling in the freaking finals. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? In my opinion, it, it, like... I th if I had to guess, I would have said that it was going to be, like, fighters in the heavier weight classes that will be in the final. Like, maybe John Jones and Francis Ngannou, something like that in the finals. I mean, that's what would make m the most sense if we were to talk about, like, pound, not, well, not pound for pound, but, like, if we were going to think about the fact that size actually matters. I mean, these guys are powerful. They're much bigger than the rest of these guys they're fighting. So you would think it would be John Jones and Francis in the finals, but no. A bantamweight is in the finals right now. And a bantamweight probably will win the whole thing. Are you kidding me, bro? I'm going to be so freaking pissed if Aldo defeats John Jones or Habib. That makes no sense. But here we go. Here we go. Once again, I'm really, really sorry about the way that played out, man. I, I, was, I was hoping that uh, it was saved, but it didn't. So, unfortunately... Um, unfortunately, it is going to have to be, uh, I have to play John Jones. So, hope you guys don't mind that too much. Hope, hope you don't, just hope you don't mind that too much. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, let's, let's get it. Let's do it. Habib versus John Bones Jones. This is the semifinals. Now we get to see who Aljo will be fighting. Let's do it. Here we go. There's a shot. Habib picks up John Jones and dumps him. All right, here we go. Habib beginning his dominance, man. Do I think he could he'll be he'll be able to do that to John Jones in real life? I don't think so. I don't Oh wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. What and for, for, for those of you that are about to try to tell me, yeah, yeah, Habib will be able to do that to John Jones in real life. Don't forget that John Jones was in there with Daniel Cormier. Okay. John was in there with DC. John Jones can wrestle. John Jones can handle himself. Like, let's not let's not lose our minds right now, okay? Let's not lose our minds. But as you can see, Habib is currently. All right. North, south. Oh, my goodness. He is pinning John Jones. John Jones is getting completely pinned by Habib. He goes back to, uh, he goes back to sprawl. I don't know why. He's probably going to look for a choke right there. Oh, fireman's carry by John Jones. Beautiful counter. John is not fucking around. Hit him with that beautiful Kataguruma. Oh. Arm drag. No. Nothing there. Alright. Look at look at me. Look at Habib's bottom game, too. Alright. Is John gonna try to mount? He passes the guard. Okay. Habib was stopping him from mounting him for a pretty significant... Look at this. Beautiful ground game 
Beautiful bottom game from Habib. He is denying John Jones any attempt to progress to. Look at that. He won't let John get dominant position at all. He won't let John mount. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh boy. No. Habib says no. You're not gonna get me in your you're not gonna get me in that freaking Americana. That American lock. I am not gonna give that to you. Let's see. All right, side control. Crucifix again. I think Habib just has to be very careful to not get de denied too much in Crucifix. If he gets denied by John, oh, John could go for sub right here if he wants. But he's just grounding and pounding. Oh my God, oh my gosh. That started to look bad for a second. Wow, Crucifix coming again. Yes, Habib says no. Okay, he makes his way back to half guard. That's good. Tries to recover. Oh, boy. John can mount him right now if you want it, but he passes to side control. John really loves this Keiza Katami position right here. He keeps going to it. He keeps cycling between that, side control, and Crucifix. There it is. I'm surprised there's Crucifix again. Let's see if Habib... Oh, Habib says no. No, no, no. I'm not going to let you get that. Wow. Kudos to Habib. Is he going to get it? No, I don't think so. Major props to Habib on his ability to survive from the bottom here. But he has taken quite a bit of damage, man. And John Jones, who's known for his elbows, not throwing elbows. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Wow, this is bad. Oh my gosh. Postures. Ah, ah, okay. Habib's gonna try to roll into full guard, probably. No, he rolls to side control. That's very interesting. He'll survive. He'll survive, but he just got pinned, man. Maybe taking John Jones down is not a good idea, bro. Because he was pinned the whole entire round. And he took quite a bit of damage. Unfortunately for John Jones, though, his AI decided that John Jones is not going to throw any elbows. All right. Makes his way to sprawl. Man. What a round. What a round. Habib took a lot of damage, bro. I'm you know what I'm seeing right now, guys? What I'm seeing is a path to victory for Aljamain Sterling. Because if Habib somehow, if, if Habib somehow beats John Jones, which is possible, it's very possible that I mean it's the same thing that happened with him against Connor. Connor floored him multiple times, but then he got on top and stopped Connor McGregor. Right now, John Jones has done a number on him, and I think it's possible that Habib could take down John Jones pin John Jones and uh, submit him. But if that happens, he's going to be going into his fight against Aljamain Sterling completely tired and with low head health. And Aljo is probably going to take advantage of that. And that is a way that Aljo could win this whole thing. That's what I see happening. See what I mean? Oh, but that, okay. Scramble. My hope for everyone's sake is that John gets Habib out of here, man. Because it just wouldn't be, it just wouldn't be fair to Habib to go into a fight with Aljo with his health this low, man. There's a shot, and he gets it. Oh, what I, what I, what I'm thinking is about to happen. What I'm thinking is probably gonna happen right now, boys. Oh my God. This is not good. This is not good. Habib mounting you. Look at that. He passes John Jones' guard. Here's a Katami. Tries to get him into a submission. John Jones says no. Crucifix. This is not good. So far, what's happening is literally everyone is beating the shit out of each other for Aljo. It's like we're going to whoop each other's asses. 
And then we're gonna go in and fight Aljo. God, it's a pity that no one was able to damage Aljamain, bro. That's such a pity, man. This is bad. This is bad. They're taking turns just pinning each other, man. This is bad. Some tells me John is gonna be pinned the whole entire round. Heal that. Yeah. He's not going to do it. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Nice, nice, nice. John tries to get up, but Habib says no. Wow. Takes his back. My God. So this fight is pretty much all about whoever can get on top. Whoever can get top position will probably stay in top position the whole time. Oh man, they are so dominant in top position. Both of them. Like pretty much neither of you can end up on bottom because you're gonna be stuck the whole time. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, triangle from Mount, the Habib special. I think John will be okay. I think John will be okay. Forward bias, Habib, to lock that triangle. But John will be okay. He's gonna swing his leg and come up. Swing, momentum, come up. Uh oh. But we had a we okay. We got a minute. We got a minute to work. Oh, John takes his back. Let's see. What? What? I cannot believe John gave that up. But do you guys see what I mean? Look at look at how much of a war this is. This is exactly what I mean, bro. Like, these guys, though, they're fighting so hard and they're beating each other up so hard that, like, no matter what, by the time either of them runs into Aljamain Sterling, whose stamina and head and health are so high, by the time either of them run into him, they're gonna be so compromised, they might, they might as well just give it up. They're gonna go to round number three. They're gonna go to round number three. I also wonder if I screwed up Habib now because I used John Jones and because in the in the fight that John had with GSP, the actual real fight that John had with GSP, the AI did, John went all the way to round number three. Now I will say most most of the time John Jones was in top position. Um, GSP took him down a few times, but for the most part, John Jones was dominating those grappling exchanges, and he did not lose too much, too much stamina or, or health. So, um, y'all keep it standing, bro. Damage. Pit him against the cage. Oh, that was so close, Habib. Scramble. If that was Connor, that would have landed. Because Connor almost Connor was catching Habib with, with uppercuts as Habib just randomly shoots. Look at it, Habib trying to pin John against the cage. Oh no! Oh my god, that was a mistake, John Jones. But that was a scramble. Okay, okay.
Man, Habib, he, get, he gets it. He gets it. Habib being very relentless with the takedowns, bro. Walking down John Jones and putting him on his back over and over and over again. And he mounts him. There you go. Triangle. 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 John's okay. Oh my god, John's okay, John's okay, John's okay. Oh my god, duh. All right, let's see if John can stay on top. Can he stay on top or is Habib gonna just easily reverse position? Okay, makes his way to a uh, half guard. I don't know why John is not committing. He's not committing the mount. He's faking it. He's faking it multiple times, but he's not actually committing to go to mount. That's because his favorite position, I know, yeah. He wants to go to crucifix. These two guys are gonna go to a decision, bro. That's what this is looking like. Pass, pass again, pass again. There it is. Ah, oh, it's a lot of damage. Ah, uh, crucifix coming. Crucifix coming. Jeez, jeez. Come on, John, you gotta get Habib out of his misery, bro. Like, he can't go into a fight with Aljo this damage. That doesn't, that, that's not gonna be right. Habib is fighting so hard, man, but like, he won't even let him get into Crucifix. Dude, these guys are going to war. Look at that. He's denying Crucifix over and over and over again. Arm drag, no. Yeah, see, but John doesn't want mount. He wants sight control. That's where he keeps going. Okay, okay. I think the best thing that has happened to Habib right now, he's going to go back sight control and try to go crucifix again. I know it. Yeah, best thing that's happened to Habib right now is that he hasn't allow John Jones to deny a single sub, uh, transition attempt in Crucifix. That's the best thing that has happened to Habib right now, bro. I'm telling you. But wow, look at these two guys. They went to war. They went to war and it's gonna go to a decision. It's gonna go to a decision. I, dude, I have no idea. I have no idea who won. I, I have no clue. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this as soon as it's done. Uh, it won't let me pause. What the fuck? There you go. I'm going to pause it just like that. Let me know in the comments section who you guys uh, think won this fight. Are you going to go with John Jones or are you going to go with Habib? Personally, um, I'm actually going to give it to... I'm going to give it to John. And I'm going to give it to John because John was able to pin Habib for two, for two rounds out of the three. While Habib was able to pin John Jones for like one round, which is round number two. And I think because John Jones is bigger, and then John Jones probably has more power, and the game favors damage, and John Jones was landing some pretty clean ground and pound shots, albeit not elbows. Um, I think they're gonna give it to John. That's what I'm thinking. So, but we'll see. Man, we're tired, bro. It's like, like 1 p.m. I I barely slept last night, bro. Barely slept last night. John. John.
That was a hard fought fight, John. And now you're about to fight out John Jones versus Aljamain Sterling. What the fuck? What the heck? Seriously. Out of all the potential matches, out of all the potential matchups, this is the one we get? John versus Aljo? Wow. Just wow, man. Okay. As you guys can see, we got our finals. I mean, it, it all started with me versus Davison Figueredo. And uh, me defeating Figueredo. Uh, Aljo doing a number on Alexander Volkanovsky, submitting him in round number three. Leon Edwards defeating Charles Oliveira. Yuri Prohashka knocking out Israel Adesanya. And then on the other side, Conor McGregor doing a number on, on, on Aldo. Habib submitting Usman. GSP submitting Anderson Silva. John Jones submitting Ngannou in round one. And, um, and then we move on to the left side again, which was me versus Aljo. Aljo won the fight. Submission, which is a bummer and uh, very annoying, but he got it done. Prohashka defeating Leon Edwards in a fight where Leon Edwards fought his heart out, man. He really, really did. Leon really, really fought. He gave it all. He gave it all in that fight, but he was, he was just outmatched. And he set Aljo up really, really nicely because he also did a lot of damage to Prohashka, specifically with the leg kicks. I mean, the leg kicks just carried on. Izzy started the leg kick uh, saga. Leon Edwards continued it. And then Aljo, you know, put the nail in the coffin. And so here we go. Aljo freaking knocking out Yuri Prohashka in round number one. And now he is moving on fully recovered, full health. Stamina, everything. About to fight a John Jones that just went on a three-round war with the one, the only, Habib. So, ah. In the next one, we see who wins the whole thing. Hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. Again, I really, I, I really apologize for the for the um, lack of frequency and uploads. Um, it's been. It's been a crazy time, bro. It's been a crazy time. And I'm actually going to have to take time off from jujitsu. There's some bullshit going on um, that I'm going to have to uh, deal with. Just a fucking... Just a... Can't go into it. Uh, but... Yeah. So, um, it, it, videos will be hit or miss for the next few days until... Until things uh, calm calm down, you know, because you know, I'm still dealing, you know, dealing with issues with my kid who was sick. Do you know what, man? We're not here to make fucking excuses. I don't want any of you feeling sorry for me. So how about we just let's just go back to 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 making content, okay? So I will see you guys probably later today. I'm gonna get a few things done and then I'm gonna hop on again and try to record this final so that it's done. And I'm gonna try to keep my Xbox on. Because the last thing I want to happen is to come back and it's telling me, oh, uh, the matches that you just did did not save. So Xbox is staying on the whole time. I'm going to be fucking keeping an eye on it and we'll record the next one as soon as I can. And it will be up today as well. So thank you for watching. You guys are absolutely fucking fantastic. I couldn't ask for a better audience. Love you guys. And uh, I will see you guys later. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.